Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teague. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and this is Auto Jeff Reviews. Today we're looking at the 2022 Nissan Frontier Pro X. Now let's talk about the 2022 Frontier. It's beautiful, tough, rugged, but extremely stylish exterior styling. Can I say that? And then the interior. This is how a truck interior should look. It's really, really cool. It's modern, it's refreshed, high tech. I love it. But where does this fall on the trim level spectrum? Where does it fall on the totem pole, the chain of command? Well, we've got the S, the SV. We've got a long bed SV. We've got the Pro 4X four wheel drive. Then we've got the Pro X. This is the two wheel drive. Now, what about pricing? The Pro X starts at 36, 345 and there are three main ways to upgrade it. You can get a technology package for 990. You can get a convenience package for 1990. This one has technology and it has convenience package or you can get the premium package. That one's 2790. This one does not have that full suitcase of options, but you would want to add in a moonroof, leather seating and also that 10 speaker Fender sound system that upgrades from the stock six speaker system with subwoofer, baby. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna walk around the truck so you can see what the exterior looks like. Since we're not in an auto show and we don't have one of those turning floors, we're gonna do this. Whoa, glacier white with hot lava badging. Anakin, I have the high ground. You were the chosen one. So we'll continue our walk now. You'll see those dark colored 17 inch wheels, Pro X badging, lots of features, lots of comfort, lots of style. Now what I'm gonna do, show the interior, then I'm gonna go piece by piece, section by section, so you can learn all about the Frontier. Interior first look, I'm gonna pick it apart, go in detail later on in the video, but you'll see it has black seating, not upgraded to leather. Whoa, more hot lava accents. Nine inch touchscreen. We'll be talking about the Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Wi Fi hotspot, Sirius XM. Ooh. We even have under seat storage to talk about. And of course, there's the bed we could focus on as well. I've got a quick favor to ask. Hit subscribe if you're new. We do fun, thorough reviews. If you're an auto enthusiast, you might like this channel. So while I jump, hit subscribe. Holla. So let's talk about MPG. Yeah, you know me. And then towing capacity. Also, don't make fun of my shoes. I planned wrong, but I do have on my popcorn socks. So let's get our popcorn ready while we talk about the tow capacity. A Frontier in general for 2022 model year can get over 6,700 pound tow capacity. This one here has 6,470 on this configuration. The payload is 1,430. It has the upgraded tow hitch with wiring hookup as well. Got the hookup. And then this one right here, the fuel capacity, 21 gallons, and then you can get 18 in the city, 24 on the highway, 20 combined. When I got into this one, other evaluators had looked at this one and it was getting, I believe, 20.6. We'll see on the information display because I want to show you that. So clearly over time, somebody had been getting more than what's posted combined. So maybe that'll give you some hope, some encouragement. You can do it. You can do it. So let's talk about what makes this thing tick. Engine performance. So we're looking at a V6 engine. As a matter of fact, it produces 310 horsepower, 281 pound-feet of torque, matched with a nine-speed automatic transmission. This is a 3.8 liter direct injection, dual overhead cam, 24 valve V6 engine. It's got the most power in its class. So this is one, don't sleep on this one, it's got some chops. And even though this one is known for being a four by two, doesn't mean it's not meant for the off-road. Suspension. This has front independent double wishbone suspension with stabilizer bar. It has Bilstein off-road performance shock absorbers. Ooh, look at that. 
And in the back, you're gonna see the Bilsteins again, holla. It has multi-leaf rear suspension with solid axle, rear stabilizer bar. So again, just because it's not a four by four, doesn't mean you can't take it places. You'll even see it has a pitch and roll meter inside to help you on the trails. Now this right here for the modern age is I consider it to be a classic but tough front end, if that makes sense. Like it would take your lunch money. We've got Frontier stamped into the top part and then we've got this surround grill with this black insert, really cool. Love this modern logo, gloss black, Nissan baby, and then hot lava. We talked about the Jedi warning again, right? The Jedi warning system it's got. And then we've got LED headlights, LED accent lights, daytime running lights. We've got LED fog lights, LED tail lights in the back too. Silver metallic, lower bumper. Then we've got this black surround on the bottom along with color keyed mixed in. So there's a lot going on here. Oh wait. And as a really cool color matching bonus, we've got hot lava front tow hooks as well. We've got a front camera. You'll see on the information display that we will be able to see an overhead view because we've got a camera here and a camera here. And yes, a camera back here. You get a camera and you get a camera and you get a camera. And the benefit there is that you can get an overhead model whether you're going in front or reverse so that you can see what's behind you, what's in front of you, even what's alongside of you. Love it. Bird's eye, baby. Now the Frontier, I think, is a beautiful looking profile. It's nice, it's classic, it's tall, it's long. It kind of fits every checkbox that you're looking for in a truck this size. Pro-X badging, of course. Then we've got the bumper that sweeps around here. Mud guards, wide, wide over fenders here. We've got these all-terrain tires, 265, 70 R17 hike. And we've got these two-tone silver metallic and gloss black. I just had to do that. And then we've got the Nissan logo. I don't know if it's always upside down, but it is interesting. Oh wait, no, it's good. Got a six lug pattern here. How do you like the wheels, the tires? And then what about this? Look at these W-shaped womp. Whoa, womp. That means it's been doing some work. You're not doing the work. You need to stop eating so much. Dr. Now, bad impression, I think. Then we've got grab handles here. This right here, lock, unlock. Remember, I told you about the blind spot warning indicator. It's right here. Can you see that? It's right there, shabam. And that's optional. Color keyed side mirror. One more chance to look at the profile. Remember, you've got to get the premium package if you want a moonroof. So we started it up. We're going to honk the horn, go forward, and then go backward so you can see the brake lights, so you can see the LED tail lights. Excellent. That's a pretty cool pattern here. It doesn't sweep all the way across, but it's enough. They almost don't look big enough, if that makes sense to me. I'm sure you'll probably disagree with that. This has upgraded parking sonar in the back, Frontier stamped right in, Nissan. This is a locking tailgate here. Seven pin connector. We got a spare tire under here. And what happens if I do this? Oh, see, that's nice. Very nice. Look at this. We've got tie downs here. There's nothing down below. I'd like to see another spot down here because a lot of times you want to affix it and put tension from, well, from down below. Oh, look at that. Got a grounded outlet. We've got bed cleats and that's a good example. You can slide those, move them along the tracks. This one has the spray on bed liner. The window here does slide. 
and it holds my camera bag and some all-weather mats as well. What about the dimensions? This is probably long enough that we can call the bed a five-foot bed. It's 58.9 inches. 60 inches would be five foot. Do the math. 1.1 inches. This is 61.4 inches max width, 44.5 inches between the wheel wells, and 19.4 inches tall. I like the versatility back here because these seats fold up in a 60-40 split. We've got under bed storage, which is what every truck owner is fighting for, more storage. So look at that. Now, if you really wanted to get wild and crazy, you could put your Star Wars action figures, your snack packs in here. Look at this though. This is interesting to me. It says lock and unlock. Cause look, you can pop that sucker right off and then you can store up higher. So versatility, we've got options folks. Houston, we have liftoff. I find the seats both the front and the back to actually be very comfortable. This has 42.3 inches of front legroom. It's tall, I'm only five foot eight, but I do have clearance, so you taller folks probably can lean it back a little bit. You'd have so much clearance there, it's pretty good. Now, I adjusted both seats, one back, one forward to show you rear space. This is more back, and my knees are up here, but they're comfortable. I have plenty of room, chicken dance room, da 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 that kind of a thing, da 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 All right, seats, comfortable. I like it. I wonder what the leather seats would be like. This one is very, very soft in here. It's not the widest, but it's not the narrowest as well. It does feel like right here there's a little bit of a bulge, but there's not, just feel it. I guess that would be good if you have lower back problems too. And then this one's a little bit more forward. It's set for somebody who's around five foot eight. So you do have a little bit more clearance, Clarence. And then I've got plenty of room as well. Oh boy, hang on. Oh bleep. And remember this window does slide. We can actually fold this one forward, that one forward. Got some jack equipment underneath there. We've got latches for tethers. It's for the kids. Nice, round, wide, big cup holder spots for those sport drinks. Maybe a hydro flask. We've got pocket here and a pocket here, a USB-A, a USB-C, and a grounded 120 volt, 400 watt outlet as well. Very, very small hump here. So you don't have to make too much accommodations for your legs if you're in the middle section. Let's look at the center cluster. I just bumped the camera, sorry. What do you guys think of the accents, the hot lava accents? It's pretty cool. It's not overstated. It complements it. It doesn't overshadow it. Let's look on in here again. We've got hot lava accent stitching, both sides. Remember that's a nine inch touch screen here. It's gloss. I wonder how that would be with reflection. I didn't notice it to be a problem when I was driving over here, so it's probably fine. Pro X, if you get a Pro 4X, guess what it's gonna say? Mmm, soft touch here, I like it. Me likey. That's cool. So this one has six speakers, AM, FM, has the Sirius XM trial. Wi-Fi hotspot. This one has upgraded to the wireless charging pad. This one kind of looks like it too, but it's not. And then lots of buttons, controls, and dials. What do you think we're gonna find in here? Oh! The 12 volt circular port. Good storage in there. That was deeper than I expected. We've got a USB-A, a USB-C, as well. I'll show you around at the other side. Again, the seats are very comfortable. Just wanna make sure we all know that. Comes with four cup holders, four bottle holders. So you adjust your mirrors. Blind spot. 
All right, it's got a tow mode. That's how you send power if you're going to be using it in other spots around the vehicle. Cargo lamp, like it. Leather wrapped steering wheel and the shift lever. Look at the detail in here. Boy, that is cool. This is a trim level that I would absolutely look for if I'm in the market for a Frontier. Now, it goes forward, it goes backward, it goes up, it goes down to the back of the seat. I would like to see lumbar support here. I feel like that's appropriate. And I would also like to see it be able to twist you. It just goes up, it just goes down. There's no twisting. So it's a six way power adjustable seat. This is voice recognition here. Remember it comes standard with the navigation. Very clear here, very clear. And then what about these controls? What do they lead to? Now this is really cool here. This is the pitch and roll meter. It also tells you that you're in rear wheel drive, which is what it's gonna stay in here. But as you move, it'll tell you the angle that you're going at so you can see if you can handle what the trail or what the road is bringing you. Okay, look here. We're gonna move around a little bit. Look at that, 20.2 MPG is what it's averaging. And that's just a hair bit more, just a tick more than what it was posted you'll get. Traffic sign alert, driving aids, that's your safety systems like the blind spot. And then you can adjust your different settings right like that. Now, there are a lot of different things you can do on this. It's very interactive, it's very easy. You could do home screen where you set it up to go to your home. It's not home screen, but set it up to go home. You can do audio and then you could do source. So there's a lot that you can do here. Oh, that's cool. We could show the camera, remember, front or back map. We have digital dual temperature controls. Parking sonar, heated steering wheel, heated seats, high and low. How low can you go? How low can you go? All right, I like it. This is not an auto dimming rear view mirror, but you can do that. Got a sunglass holder. Got this, we've got the SOS button up here. And then lighted mirror. I would have liked to have seen LED lights, but we can't have everything. And then this is the visor extender. We've got the oblique handles here. So what do you guys think about this interior? And remember, as far as pricing, this one starts about 36, 345. I don't think there's any about, about it. And it has 990 for technology, 1990 for convenience package. So just under $3,000 added to it. So without delivery, it'll be just under 40,000 for this setup right here. Thanks for watching everybody. Let me know what you think in the comment section of Frontier. What's your trim level? What's your mid-size truck of choice? Your compact truck of choice? Your full-size truck of choice? Those could be future videos based on what you tell me. Thanks guys so much. I'm on Instagram and TikTok at Auto Jeff Reviews. I'd love to see you there. Thanks so much. See you next time. Hit subscribe. Peace.